a little different today. This, the workout, it says 35, 45, but we're going to be working for 30 seconds and 40 seconds. It just included that sort of five second transition. <clears throat> and I'll go over all of this. Most of this you've seen before. I actually I took a boxing class Saturday in Boston, and um, that's where I got this idea from. Okay, waiver, waiver, waiver. Where are you? There we go. Okay, I give consent to engage in this virtual workshop. I understand. Oh my goodness. Fix this Adobe thing the other day. And now it's coming back. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to have to. Ah. All right, so basically the waiver says, you know. <clears throat> Harvard Pilgrim is not liable for anything that might happen during this. I can't get it to fix. All right, I'll have to fix, try to fix that again. Can't keep it open. Morning, Tara. <clears throat> okay, so let's get warm. I'm going to go over what we're looking at today. Um, we have kind of like a boxing upper body theme. So I'll go over it with you if you're unsure. And the weights, I mean, weights are always optional for us, right? But definitely optional here if you're a little bit newer to these movements, okay? So let's start to get warm. We're going to start with some knee pulls. Oops, 7.30 on the down. There we go. So knee pulls, you're just going to pull your knee into your chest. <clears throat> Kind of warming up the hips a little bit. We're breathing. Nice inhales and exhales. So for weights, I have for that upper body, I have threes, twos or threes. And then we're going to do heel to butt. We do have one upper body movement, just a shoulder overhead press that you could go a little bit heavier. I have tens for those. And then for some of the lower body, I have a um, tens and fifteens, okay? Just so you know. All right, what's next? Arm circles. <clears throat> nice and big. That shoulder rotation. We're breathing. Make sure you get some music on, water. I'm back in New Hampshire. It is gray and rainy. Well, Sunday was nice, but last couple of days backwards. Oh, nice and big. Last couple of days have been pretty crappy. It is amazing what, you know, having a place where more sunshine, shake it out a little side to side. And then coming back to gray days, it, it certainly affects your, <laughs> your energy and your mental health. All right, we're gonna come down for some bird dogs. <clears throat> Warm up the core a little bit. So we have a tabletop position, low back pressing. Opposite leg, opposite arm extends out. And then we come back through center. So reach, keep that low back pressing. Make sure we're okay for time here because I want to go over this. So basically what we have is four sets, four exercises each. But the upper body is going to stay the same. And we're going to switch between lower body for that kind of superset and core. So we have 30 seconds of upper body, 40 seconds of lower or core. So it's a little bit longer because we're not, we're only repeating those twice, right? Two lower body, two core, and the upper body will stay the same. 
will make more sense when we get there, I promise. All right, <sighs> pop it up. We're going to come to a regular tabletop. Couple cat and cows for the spine here. Oh, and then we'll take a couple of hip cars, hip circles. So these are really good. We're in, I'm going to show you my left leg just because it's facing you, but we're just going to make a big circle with the knee. Let's say, let's do three in each direction, nice and big. And then reset the other direction. And then you'll just switch sides. And then while we're here, let's do, you're done. We'll do a couple of push ups. We don't have any in the workout. So just get those shoulders moving a little bit more. I'm gonna do them on my knees. Let's just say five to eight here. Elbows at that 45 degree angle. Nice and easy. Whole body moves in one long line. Shoulder blades separate on the way up, pull together on the way down. Good. And then we'll come on up. One more before we go over the workout. Add a little sumo squat onto the toes with a reach, lift, ooh. All right, so <clears throat> two rounds of lower body, two rounds of core, but it's gonna be the same for each, okay? So realistically, we have four exercises of upper, lower, and core. All right, three, two, and one. So let's go through this first one. We'll have about a minute between each set, okay? <clears throat> or round, whatever you want to call it. All right, so ones and twos. These are basically your jabs. If you're right-handed like me, your left foot will go forward and you'll lead with your left hand, okay? So hands stay up by the shoulders and it's just a punch to the face, left hand, right hand. If you're left-handed, it's just going to be the opposite. Right hand, left hand, okay? <clears throat> All right, so we have ones and twos. You can go quick. You can go one, two, rest, right? I'll leave it up to you. And then we also have a curtsy lunge to a lateral lunge. So we're going to do one side and then the other side for the next set. So we'll do right leg moving back and then to the side. Option to hold one weight there, okay? I'm just gonna pause this. All right, <clears throat> so that's number one. Then we have, the second one we go into is right into threes and four. So this is your hook. So again, left leg forward, right leg back. We're doing left hand. You're gonna go around and around. And then if you're left-handed, right, right, left instead, okay? So same thing, you can go kind of quick, right? Or you could do a couple, take a break, try to keep those hands up. All right, and then we have a prisoner squat. So we're going to start low here on the knees. We're going to step up with the right, right, left, left. Option to hold the weight there. Number three, fives and sixes. These are your uppercuts. So we're going up, palm facing you. Same thing, fast or slow, whatever your, pick your poison there. Pendulum lunge, we'll do one side first. So we're going forward and back. Whoop. And then last but not least, we have a shoulder press, kind of a seesaw. We're gonna go one at a time here. And then we have a bridge walkout. So you're gonna lie down, you're gonna walk the feet out for the hamstrings and the glutes, okay? All right, do the best you can. You're like, I'm not sure. Fine. I'm going to start with out weights. See how this first round goes <laughs> for my upper body. Okay. Here we go. 10 seconds. I'm going to have one weight close by. All right. We're going in three. Ooh, oh my God. That is loud. Two, one. Okay. So we're going to jab it out. So here we go. One, two. Thinking about 
hitting a bag or a person <laughs> in the face. Okay, so arms are up. One, two, one, two. You can even move around a little bit if you like. We have five seconds. We're gonna transition into that curtsy lateral with the le right leg moving. Here we go. All right, three, two, one. So right leg is moving. We're gonna curtsy first to the left, then out to the right. Show you this way. Right leg moving, hover, and then over to the right, nice and long. Ooh, I didn't say in the beginning, my name is Katie. <laughs> People call me KT. All right, we're gonna transition in about 15 seconds. I'm gonna move this over here so I can see it a little bit better. And also my workout. <laughs> All right, here we go. Weight down. We're doing threes and fours. Three, two, one. So arms are still up, but we're doing a hook. Try to get those hips moving. That's my biggest issue with boxing is I'm not very good. So you want to kind of pivot on the back foot to get that hip to move for you. Should have done that in the first round. <laughs> I once years ago was at a gym in Watertown and everybody fights there. Three, two, one. We're gonna take it into prisoner spots. Here we go. And he was like, move your hips like you're at the club. And I was like, <laughs> I don't go to the club. <laughs> and I am bad white girl dancing. <laughs> he just laughed at me. All right. So we don't have much of a break, right? We're going all the way through, a little over four minutes, but then we'll get a minute before round two. So right, right, left, left. You can hold a weight here if you like, but try to stay low. Good, all right, come back up. We have uppercuts, fives and sixes. Here we go. Same thing, try to pivot on that back foot. Now we're going up. Socks are falling off. We're gonna have that pendulum lunge. So the idea is you try to keep the leg lifted. Right leg is gonna be moving here. Here we go. Weights if you're using them. Three, two, one. So we go forward. Try to keep, oh, I already came down. Try to keep the leg lifted and back. Forward and back. Try to balance on that left foot. Not easy. You gotta take these socks off. They're just not, it's not working for me this morning. <laughs> it was cold down here. So you've been working out with me for a while, you know I always recommend bare feet, socks, flat shoes. Just had to order my husband a pair. Here we go. Transitioning to a seesaw shoulder press. One at a time. If seesaw is too much, so basically as one comes down, the other is coming up. I'm gonna just kneel so you can see me. Then just do one at a time instead. Otherwise, we're here. <laughs> 10 seconds. Bridge walk out. So we're going to come down to the back. We're going to bridge. We're going to walk the feet out. Walk them back in. Here we go. Three, two, one. <clears throat> oh, I don't know why that's on rest, but that's okay. Here we go. Just 40 seconds, so you walk it out as far as you can. You'll feel those hamstrings kick in, and then you walk it back in. Try to switch which leg you do each time. 
<clears throat> Almost there. And rest. All right, we got one minute. Woo. So arms, upper body stays the same. Now we're gonna do some core, okay? So we have a plank pull through, one heavier weight to pull through on your plank. You can be toes or knees. Actually, this one is newer. Snow shovel with a dumbbell. I felt like this is kind of, I don't know, since I'm back in New Hampshire, but there is no snow. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one weight and you go to the left, to the right. Kind of like a swing, but on the side of your body, okay? Then we have number three, we have a side plank. We're going to do right arm down, thread through, option to use that lighter weight, and then we'll finish with bicycles. All right. Here we go. 10 seconds. Starting with ones and twos. Let's go. I'm going to grab my weights this time. Here we go. So arms up, trying to pivot on that back foot. Remember, you can move a little bit, right? Kind of pretend you're on a bag or a person. <laughs> person sounds extreme, but you know, sometimes <laughs> you just need to get that tension out, right? All right, we have a plank pull through. Five seconds. So one weight to the side. Here we go, 40 seconds. So you pull that weight through with the opposite arm. Pull it through, plank stays stable. Reach and pull. We'll come up for threes and fours next. Less, more than halfway there, yeah. Remember, you can take this with your knees down. Same thing. Make sure your wrists are under your shoulders. All right, here we go. Threes and fours. Pop it back up. Three, two, one. So we're hook, hook. So it goes all the way to 10, right? You start to get into the body movements after five and six. <clears throat> Figure we'll just stick with the first three for this time. Again, I am not a good boxer, <laughs> but it's a great upper body workout. I tell you after, when did I do it? Saturday? Whew, my shoulders were killing me. Okay, here we go. Snow shovel. All right, 40 seconds. So to the side, pop it up to shoulders, to the side. <clears throat> Fives and sixes next, upper cuts. We'll do a right-sided plank with a reach under. Almost there. All right, here we go. Fives and sixes, upper cuts. Three, two, and one. Careful of your weights around your mat. Don't step on them. I'm going to move mine a little. Move this back a little. There we go. All right, 15 seconds. We have that side plank. One more round. And then we'll go back to the lower body. So it's the exact same thing we did the first time. So if you need to adjust weights, I'm not pivoting on this back foot. Here we go, side plank, wrist or elbow under the shoulder, reach, release. Then you can use a weight. Make it a little bit more challenging. Just be mindful of your shoulder. You could also bring it down onto your knee. 
going to do the same exercise. Lots of options. All right, we got shoulder presses. Here we go. Pop it up. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Ooh, getting spicy now. We're going to finish this one up with bicycles. 40 seconds. And then back to the start. Shake it out. We have two more big sets left. Three, two, one. Here we go. All right, nice and slow. Think elbow to knee instead of knee to elbow. Reach, keep that low back flat. Reach. I'll let you know when we hit that 40 second mark. And rest. Good job. All right. Shake it out from the top. So we're going back to the upper and lower body. All right. We're going to do curtsy lunge with the left leg moving and a lateral lunge. We'll do prisoner squat right and left. Pendulum lunge. We have the left leg moving this time. And then our bridge walkouts to finish that one up. All right, let's do it. 25 seconds. Here we go. Starting with ones and twos, so get lighter weights if you're using them. Third round of these. Whew. All right. 10 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. So ones and twos. <laughs> I haven't taken it boxing. I will I like I used to do it more in a million years. But I was looking for my lost phone in my car <laughs> Thursday night and realized I had a small bag with boxing gloves and sneakers in it. Rest. Here we go, curtsy to lateral, one weight if you want to use it, left leg moving, and I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Usually my husband drives that car, so I guess I just didn't realize they were in there. So I was like, I'm going to use these. I have a, a pass. I do love working out with other people sometimes. I have a pass to a studio in Boston that I go to sometimes. So I was like, I'm going to see him. What do you know? They had a class, so very excited. Shoulders were very sore. <laughs> All right, here we go. Threes and fours. Back to hooks. Pivot that back foot. Move around if you like. Get some extra steps in. <laughs> Try to keep those arms up. Prisoner squat on deck. There we go. Bring it down. I'm going to use a weight this time. Three, two, one. The hard thing for me is you know, they usually say, you know, all right, we're going to do a combo. So it's going to be a one, one, two, three, four, six. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I have to like slow it down in my head. It's not, it's not super natural for me, but that's okay. Something a little different. All right. Fives and sixes on deck. Stay low, chest lifted. 
Here we go. Switch it up. Three, two, one. Uppercuts to the chin. Bam, bam, bam. Pendulum lunge. We're going to use that left leg is going to be moving this time. Try to move your hips a little here. Then we'll finish with shoulder press and a bridge walkout. Pendulum lunge. Here we go. Using weights, if you like. Let's go. Left leg, try to keep it lifted. My right leg is always a little easier for me to balance than the other side. Nice, big step forward, big step back. So we're basically supersetting exercises, right? One right into the other, but there are different muscle groups. So it makes it a little easier, a little more doable. You can superset really anything. The hardest is when you have similar rest, similar muscle groups. <laughs> All right, here we go. 30 seconds. Ooh, I'm breathing hard. This is our last one here. Then we do one more arms, one more core, and we're done for the day. Keep the shoulders down, belly strong. Coming down from our bridge walkouts right now. Three, two, one. So you're in a bridge position. We walk it out. Back in. Out. And in. Almost there. All the way up, feel those hamstrings work. Don't chip yourself. Here we go, rest. All right, we're going right into the last one. I know we have a few minutes left. Let's see if we can get through it. 10 seconds. Ones and twos. <clears throat> Here we go. Ones and twos, followed by a plank pull through. Push. We might run, go right to eight o'clock. So definitely stretch open those shoulders. Get the needle, something along those lines. Plank pull through. Here we go. Grab your weight. Three, two, one, 40 seconds. Plank pull through. Try to really reach. So get that weight down by your hips if you can. We have threes and fours, hooks coming up with that snow shovel, snow shoveler. <laughs> We're not shoveling any snow, well, unless you're somewhere where there is snow. All right, here we go. Pop it up, hooks, last three rounds. Give it on that back foot. Separate your feet a little if you need. Try to keep those hands high. I know our shoulders are tired at this point. Mine are too. All right, we're gonna grab that heavier weight right now. Snow shoveler. Three, two, one, lift, 
use the glutes, right? Kind of like in the kettlebell swim, let's use the butt to push it up. You get the obliques working here. All right, so we have our uppercuts next. Side plank on the left side. And then we finish with shoulder press and bicycles, that's it. Here we go, five seconds. Switch it up, light weights if you're using them. Three, two, one. Ooh, going right to the end today. Originally had only three. Three, I guess, rounds in each set, but just didn't feel like enough. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. All right, almost there, 10 seconds. Good, side plank. Option to use a weight, three, two, one. Reach under all the way and then back up. Two more exercises after this, then I'm gonna leave you to it since that will be time. Get in the shoulders, stretch the core up dog or cobra. Maybe a little low lunge to a hamstring stretch for your lower body, depending on where you're feeling it. All right, shoulder press last time, knees or feet. Here we go, reach. Good. Stay with me. Almost there. All right, here we go. Bicycles to finish it up. Three, two, one. 40 seconds. Last 40 seconds. Let's go. Reach. We're not going fast here. Really reach towards that opposite knee. Press the low back down. Almost there. We have 10 seconds. Three, two, one and rest. Woo. Oh my goodness. All right. I know it's 801, but stretch your shoulders, move around, drink some water. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're welcome. Woo. <laughs> that was a good one. It went by fast for me. Oh, all right. Thanks for joining. I'll see you all next week. Same day, same time. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye.